the bell icon to turn on notifications. We've made the files the instructor uses in this tutorial available for free. Just click the link below in the video details to get these. Hello everyone and welcome back to this course on Word 2019 Advanced. We're down in section 6 where we're exploring the wonderful world of text boxes. In the previous modules in this section, I've showed you how to insert different types of text boxes from the text box gallery, format them, and also how to adjust the alignment and the margins. In this module, we're going to explore one other type of text box that we haven't looked at yet, and this is the sidebar. So if we jump straight up to the insert ribbon and open up our text box gallery, what you'll see is for the most part, these text boxes that we have are simple text boxes, quotes, or sidebars. And we have lots of different types of sidebar styles. And of course, all of these can be modified to match your existing color scheme. Now a sidebar differs very slightly from a quote text box. A quote text box is really there to highlight any quotes that you might have in your document. Whereas a sidebar is something that you're more likely to add, which contains supplementary information. So maybe some additional information that you want to add to the document that stands out from the body of the text. And as you can imagine, it's very simple to enter a sidebar text box and modify it. So let's jump in and let's choose this top sidebar just here, the Austin sidebar. And I can see that this is a right aligned sidebar with accent bars at the top and the bottom. So I'm going to select it to insert that in and you can see immediately what that's going to look like. And it runs all the way down from the top to the bottom of the page. So this is a great way to add supplementary information. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to replace this test sidebar text with some text that I've got from the Vegan Society website. I'm going to click to select and I'm going to do a control V to paste that in. I'm then going to add in a sidebar title. So I'm going to call this vegan stats and I'm going to do some formatting to this text. So I want this text to match the text that I have in the document. And I can see that currently in this sidebar, my font is Calibri and the size is 11. The rest of my document is a different font with a different size. So I'm going to highlight all of my sidebar text and I'm just going to change that so that it matches. I'm just going to do a little bit of tidying up and remove some of these sources that I don't actually need in my document. And right at the bottom, I'm just going to add source the Vegan Society. Now I'm going to make this in italics just to differentiate it from the rest of the text. Now I also know that some of these are bullet points, so I'm going to highlight and then just apply some bullets. Now one thing you can do with these text boxes is you can change the size of them. So if I click, you'll see that I get my resize handle. So if I wanted to give this a bit more room, I can drag it out and I can also drag the bottom up if I wanted to. Now I'm quite happy having it running to the bottom of the page, but just be aware that you can resize as you would a normal text box. Now, if you do resize, you may notice that this shape at the top doesn't resize with it. So you may have to do some minor adjustments just here. So I'm just going to drag that out, but I can also change this shape to a different color so that it matches more in with the color scheme of this document. So I've been using a greeny colored color scheme. So I'm going to jump up to drawing tools format and I'm going to change the shape fill to green accent six. I'm also going to change this title text color to green as well. And then the rest of this text, let's highlight it and let's just make sure that that is black. And there we go, very quickly, we've been able to add some additional information that really stands out from the document in a sidebar. And as with the other text boxes, if we want to make any changes to the alignment and the position of the text within the text box, we can right click, go down to format object, and then we have our text options and we can make our modifications. So for example, with this top margin, I'm gonna take that down very slightly 
and also the bottom margin as well. And right at the bottom, I'm going to just drag this out on both sides and change the color of that to green. And there we go. So let's zoom out a little bit and take a look and see what that looks like. So I think you'll agree, using these different styles of text boxes for quotes and sidebars can really help important information stand out from the rest of the text in your document. That's it for this module. I will see you in the next one. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get the files the instructor used in this tutorial and follow along, click over there. And click over there to watch more videos on YouTube from Simon Says It.